We're here at West Liberty University, where just over a month ago, masks became an optional choice for students and faculty to wear in buildings on campus. We decided to talk to a few individuals to see how they feel about these adjustments. The first person we talked to is William Moore, a student majoring in broadcasting who certainly isn't concerned about voicing his opinions on the subject of COVID. However, he does speak highly of the changes in the requirement for masks in buildings on campus when he sat down for this interview, saying he's feeling much better on the outlook. I knew from the start COVID was essentially the super flu and that it was here to stay. There was no going to be magical cure. They even tell you that the vaccines aren't a guaranteed safety, just like with the flu viruses. They, there's a very good chance it's mutating so fast you'll just keep getting it. My mom and dad got COVID for a while, about three months ago. Other than not being able to leave the house because of quarantine, they weren't really affected. The only thing that upset my dad was that he couldn't smell anything or taste anything. It's been pretty good since I lifted the mask mandates. Never did like those things on my face. They just felt weird, especially when I had my beard. Hasn't really changed anything other than I just don't have to wear the stupid piece of paper anymore. Next, we sat down with Skylar Bachman, a student majoring in digital media design here at West Liberty University, who certainly was cautious at first with the lifting of the mask requirements but eventually joined his classmates in not wearing a mask shortly after. He also told us how the pandemic affected his life here on campus. The day I got the email, I'm like, huh, that's interesting. I'm probably not going to do that. You know, I didn't want to take off my mask and risk other people's health. Uh, but then I go to class the next day and there's like maybe one other person still wearing a mask and everyone else already took him off. And I'm like, you know what, if anything's going to change at this point, it's not going to be because of me, so whatever. Health-wise, everything seems mostly the same as it was before they got like taken off. It's like the people seem happier, you know. So there's that. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's just like attitudes seem a little up. Lastly, we sat down with Sarah Davis, a professor of graphic design at West Liberty University, who always puts her best foot forward, teaching her students how to be successful in what they do, while also helping explain how to put passion into their work. So we wanted to hear how she feels about the change in the mandate as well as her students' attitudes toward it. I, uh, I actually wore a mask for a couple of weeks after the mask mandate was lifted. I feel good. I feel good. I have, uh, I've been healthy. My students have been healthy. Um, I don't feel like we're still being careful. For instance, I was, um, I was sick. Uh, a couple of days ago and I wore a mask a couple of times, so just to be safe. I think it helps with teaching. I think it helps just with talking to people. It just makes for a much better, more kind of friendly environment. It seems like they're happy with the changes made to the rule requiring students and faculty to wear a mask, making it a choice. Returning to normalcy seems to be the best for those studying here as it slowly brings back the morale that has been lost by so many over the last two years. Those here at West Liberty also seem to feel hopeful for a brighter future in which COVID is a fear of the past and all will return to normal. We've come a long way since March of 2020, whenever we were having classes canceled, online learning, and also masks being mandatory in buildings across the West Liberty campus. Life is finally starting to get back to normal at West Liberty University. However, we cannot let our guard down because there is always that threat of a new variance of COVID coming along. Since we are at the end of the spring 2022 semester, there is no telling what fall has in store for us.